Hello everyone, you are welcome once again to Mama Exam Prep Up, your ultimate destination where we treat and solve all math questions and problems. So today I'm going to be taking you on uh, two problems on uh, indices. So let's dive right into the video. Alright, for our next question we have that uh, solution. I can see that 81 a raised to the power 4, of course, 81 means 9 square. A raised to the power 4 means A raised to the power of 2 times 2. Okay, what about 16 B raised to the power 4? 16 B raised to the power 4 means, 16 means 4 square. B raised to the power 4 means B 2 times 2. I'm going to substitute such that this becomes it. So I have 9 square dot what? A raised to the power 2 times 2. All right. Minus, okay, 4 square, you know, times B raised to the power what? 2 times 2. All right, from this, I can recognize a law of indices that if we have a raised power n times b raised to power n, since they are of the same index, we can factor out what? This has 1, 1, so we can factor out the power. Because n times 1 is b raised to power n, n times 1 is a raised to power n. So we can factor out the power. So we can apply it to this. Now, if we apply it, I have, this becomes 9, what? A square, okay? If I factor out the 2, so 2 comes, 2 times 2 here we have, and 2 times the 1 here, so this is correct. So we have minus 4, okay? B square. Okay, so factor out one of the twos. So two times two, as we have here, there is one here, so two times one. So from this, we can recognize another law, difference of two squared. So if we have this, I have this as a minus b multiplied by a plus b. All right, so if we apply it here, the difference of two squares, I'm going to write this minus this. Then I'll also write it in form of plus. So I have 9a square, of course, minus 4b square, okay, which is this part. And I'm going to write this part. I have this again as 9a square plus 4b square. Now from this point, I can recognize that 9 means what? 3 square. And I have a square. Okay. Minus 4 means 2 square. And I have b square. Okay. So we have this 9a square plus 4b square. Now the question is why have I kept this as it is? Now, I'm seeing that there is a minus here, and this law can apply. The difference of 2 squared can apply here. All right, so since I discovered the difference of 2 squared can be applied here and not here, okay? So, I've gotten, I've written this down here. Now, okay, we can still say that we, we can apply this same principle, okay? that we've used before, where we can factor how the what? The index, because this is one one. So two is what? Common. So if we quickly apply that, we can see that this becomes what? So I have three A, okay, and I see that what? Two is what? Common. Uh, we have minus what? 2b. And uh, we can see that what? 
two is common. So we have to still bring down this other part. So I have 9a squared plus what? 4b squared. All right, so from this, we can now apply what? The difference of two squares. This looks like a squared minus what? b squared, which will give us a minus b and what? Multiply by a plus b. So if I apply that, to this part, I so if we apply that to this part, okay, we are going to get that. This will be what for this part we have what? So I have three what? A, okay, minus what? Two B. I've gotten this part. Now this part, okay, I'll write this, which is what three A plus what? Two B. All right. And we have this. So I have 9a squared plus what? 4b squared. So this gives us our final answer. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, hit the subscribe button. You know, kindly share it to your friends.